this is beat making episode one we're starting right now in the last episode we installed lmms if you didn't watch it click on the corner and watch it it helps done now open lmms oh look there's a box this box is the settings box i'd tell you to leave it as is but you don't need to know what this what so these are the menus and these are the settings most settings are self-explanatory but there's a couple of things to know often lmms will just stop producing any sounds there's a setting you can nudge click on the menu with the speaker and under audio interface change the interface then restart lmms and voila it should work if it doesn't you can always ask the community it's huge you know you can also change the buffer size that's on the same menu a larger buffer size means better performance but more latency that's enough of the settings now hit ok and start lmms and you're greeted with this looks really overwhelming right actually it isn't for now click maximize on the song editor window there a little better now let's figure out some basic navigation the menu bar is a menu bar here you can access menus the bar right below it contains a few buttons settings and stats there are buttons on the left song options in the middle and stats on the right the buttons are self-explanatory really but in case you're lost prepare for a screenshot in three two one then the options in the middle just control the speed, volume and pitch of your track and the stats tell you your CPU usage and the shape of the wave being played. Pretty useful stuff. Ok, now on the left we have another bar. This bar lets you drag in audio and sounds into your track. There's two kinds of files you can drag in, samples which are audio clips and presets which are settings for an instrument to produce a certain sound. Anyways, there's six icons on the side. The first one allows you to drag in instruments, like this, and the rest allow you to navigate different folders. You will use the third and fourth icons a lot because they have samples and presets. Alright, now these buttons we will discuss in a future episode. Now let's do what we came for. Do you see the track that says beat baseline zero? Click on it, you get a window. Maximize it because you don't really need the other window. And now there's one track with a bunch of weird looking squares. And this is where you make your drum beats. It has a couple of options, let's explore them. First are the play and stop buttons. Next is the pattern which you're editing. If you have multiple tracks, you will use this to change the track. Next are options to create a new pattern or add tracks to your pattern. And in the end, there are options to add, remove or clone boxes. But what we will do today requires something else, samples. Let's use some inbuilt samples for now. Click on the third menu on the left. You're greeted with the list of folders. Now open the drums folder. You have a bunch of drums right here. You can listen to each sample by holding it down, or you can use samples by dragging them into your pattern. Now go pick a nice kick, snare and hi-hat which you like and drag them in. Here's my choice. You may also notice that there's a track on the top called Kicker. Let's remove it. Click the gear icon next to the track and click remove. There's a few more options but we will get to this in a future episode when we need them. On the other side there are two knobs. The VOL knob controls volume of the track and the PAN whether the sound plays on the left, right or anywhere in between. Anyways, let's start placing beats. Remember the boxes? You can click them to turn them on. Turn on a few and hit play and you'll probably get a weird sound. Now let's create a more structured beat. Turn off all the boxes by clicking on them again. Now, 16 boxes in a row signifies one bar. The length of a bar is defined by the tempo. Lower tempo means a bar is longer and higher tempo means a bar is shorter. Now place a kick drum on the first box and on every fourth box after it. You should get this. Now on every second kick drum, place a snare. And finally place hi-hats like this. Now if we chose the same samples as me, the hi-hats too loud and the drums too quiet. Let's make the drum more loud and the hi-hats more quiet. Drag the volume knob up to make the kick louder, down to make it quieter. Or just double click it and enter a value. Adjust the volumes until you think the beat sounds good. Now you have a beat. But wait up, don't you think the kick should be a little quiet when the snare plays? Let's do just that. Go to the box where the kick and snare play at the same time and scroll down in the kick box. You can see the box gets dimmer. Dim it until you think it sounds good and then play it again. Alright, now let's add a crash at the beginning. Drag in a crash from the samples menu. Click the first box and adjust the volume. Now hit play. Don't you think it's a bit too fast? Let's fix that. On the top right of the pattern window, hit the clone button. Now come back to the crash track and delete the second crash. And now it sounds better. You can play around for a while if you want. Then save your project using the buttons on the top. Remember the button for save? Click it. Type in the random name and hit save. You have saved your song in the project folder in the LMMS folder in your documents. If you want to see it again, double click on that file and it opens right where you left it. You can also use the recently used button on top to open it again. 
Now, if you're like any other producer, you have noticed that these samples are terrible and naturally you want to fix this. So let's do that. For now, we're not going to do complex editing, but get better samples. And as always, there's a website for that. Open your favorite web browser and type in cymatics.fm or just click the link in the description. And these guys here have a bunch of sample packs. Sample packs are a collection of samples. Now what you need to do is click on the free download vault option. If you can afford to pay for stuff, you can even open the general store. Now download a bunch of packs which you think are good. Get the drip pack because we will be using it. After this, just check out. If all the stuff you got is free, you won't need to enter credit card info. It's really cool. Now, once you have a downloaded zip file, extract it to the samples folder in the LMMS folder. It's in the same place as a projects folder, remember? Now, once you have it extracted there as a folder, you can open LMMS. Head over to the samples menu and now you have a new folder. Preview all your samples if you wish. Change the samples in your track if you wish. And that's how you get a sample pack and make a drum beat in LMMS. But that's not all you can do with a pattern editor. Interested? Watch the next tutorial. And since it's probably not out, subscribe so you won't miss it. But till then, bye.